he's not getting fired. It's not happening. And in fact, it's from the conversations I've had in the last couple of weeks with the people that really matter and with the real money. And I mean, the real money, they're all saying, Jimbo, what, what do you need? You know, they understand the contract. I'm not saying they're happy with it. And I'm not saying they're like, Hey, we're losing. Let's just pay more and we'll win. But it is the situation is what it is. And they're saying, Jimbo, what do you need? We, you you have unlimited resources and an ability to fix this. Now it's up to you. Um, but I think the part you said that that hits home is, I mean, I guess did Harbaugh and Michigan go four and eight? Was that their record? Um, and I could be wrong. It could be like six and six, which is a big difference. But did they go like four and eight before these last couple years? There's very, my point is there's very few examples you can find of a coach this deep into a tenure having the kind of year that, that is certainly on the table right now and and working their way out of it. But that's the situation A&M's in. And, yeah, the Auburn game, from that standpoint, I mean, Cole, you got to start looking at things like, I mean, you already are. We've already talked about it. The current players on the roster that are going to be, I think that's more important to A&M right now than, coach, than uh, recruiting. Uh, you've got to start talking about that and and culture. There's a culture thing at play here, too. I mean, look, these guys beat – well, since they – Jimbo said we ain't done yet, right, after the Rose Bowl held up the trophy. I mean, the Orange Bowl, they, they're they 9-1. and one, They finish in the top five. It, it's year three. Everyone had been on his ass. Now, all of a sudden, it's year three. They win an Orange Bowl. They finish top five. Okay, here we go. That was the, you know, we ain't done yet. It's starting to look like, you know, uh, Sam Ellinger saying we're back after the, they beat Georgia in the Sugar Bowls. 